What is up, all my beautiful, beautiful people? This world is Zig0991, back with another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. In the last episode, we got our buddy Ephraim, or our brother, rather, say Ephraim back, and we are charging straight into this Kathal. Oh, and Ford automatically get. See, that's a good way to start an episode. Get a level up. That is a, also a bad way to start a level. To get a bad level up. Okay, so what were we doing? It's been a while. Okay. We are trying to get Colm up here, I believe. Colm and Nemi. Yeah, so that's what we're going to keep doing. We're just going to keep moving those two. Up, up, an Adam. Have you seen that episode of The Simpsons? Up, an Adam. Up, an Adam. Um, we'll let Kiel. Ah, oh, you don't have enough speed, boy. Come on, roll, boy. Can you get it up? Take it, take it. Love you, baby. All right, we're going to put Joshua and Natasha right there. Supports are very strong. Um, can we attack first with an Iron Lions? So yeah, well, we'll let Ford go in first. You know, it's funny, because I'll, uh, for those of you who may or may not know, this is actually Fire Emblem 8. There's actually three of them for the Game Boy Advance. There was Fire Emblem 6, Fire Emblem 7, Fire Emblem 8. Sacred Stones is number 8 in the line of the Game Boy Advance ones. And I have to say, it's one of my favorites, if not the favorite one. But that tends to happen, actually, that in the world of Fire Emblem, that actually is quite common. You know what, we're gonna, hmm, do I wanna? No, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I, I'll decide when it's time. Because at a certain point, I do believe more enemy units show up at a certain point, but... Let's lockpick this and let's see what we get. Ooh, an angelic robe. An angelic robe is a really good item. It basically helps boost the max HP by about seven points. And you can only use it once. That, my friends, might be going to loot. Oh, my boy. But right, we said we weren't using him for the rest of this map because he needs to promote. And let's see, Ephraim, you go here. Be nice to your sister, why don't you? And we're gonna heal her up. Yes, we are. Oh, you know something I also wanted to do that I didn't realize? See, the reason I brought up the whole Fire Emblem 6, 7, and 8 thing is because I've been actually watching a lot of the Fire Emblem 6. I actually recently finished an LP of Fire Emblem uh, 6 hard mode, and they did a great job. They lost a lot of units, which makes me also think something that I've been wanting to talk about. You know how, like, and there was that one episode where I didn't want Vanessa, I restarted it because Vanessa died, or uh, Vanessa was going to die, and I just restarted it on my own. Well, that's kind of a thing I want to talk about. What? And then there was that one, one time Ephraim died, but that was kind of one of those things where like, well, if he's dead, what are you going to do about it? You kind of have to restart the level. But the thing I'm proposing is something called Iron, uh, the, I don't want to call it the Iron Man Challenge, but the, it does add a little more depth to the Fire Emblem series. Now, this guy, what's his speed? I know he, I don't want him to double me, it's 10. Who's got a good seven? Eight. Well, you won't. You won't double Joshua. You just won't. And we'll bring Natasha. Something that what Iron Man or the Iron Man challenge is, or Iron Man mode, is basically if one of your units dies, they are dead. Ob obviously, Fire Emblem made that way. <laughs> that way, like, which I don't know if I ever even brought that up in Fire Emblem. If a character dies, they're done. Like, they're done. You can never use them again. I feel like I talked about that in Shadow Dragon, but I haven't talked about it here. But that's the one thing that makes Fire Emblem a lot of fun, you know? That you have a chance to never use a character ever again. They're dead. Alright, so, so far nothing. I thought there was going to be more enemy units. But it's showing me that there's not, so what are you going to do about it? Um, but basically, I keep saying Iron Man. What the Iron Man challenge does is basically it forces you... If they die, you keep it that way. Because, yeah, while your units do permanently die automatically... that a boy, Joshua. Like, they die. If they die here, they're gone for good. But you could easily just hit, like, you could honestly, the easiest thing to do if a unit, oh, see, I knew it. I knew guys were going to arrive. You could easily just hit suspend and you'd re you could restart the chapter and nothing's lost other than the fact the level ups and stuff like that. But the Iron Man challenge basically says if a character dies, you just keep trucking. You are now lost without that unit. Oh, well, too bad. So sad. Boo hoo. Now something, I think this guy has a lock pick. We can actually steal that. We have a lot of crap, though. I mean, can you unload some of his crap? Just so we can get that lockpick. I'll take that. Add a guy. 
Now, how far can that go? I want that lockpick. Even if I don't use it, I could easily just sell it. So, that's kind of the point what I'm doing it for. And we're trucking on. So, I don't know. Should I do that? I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. Like, it added a little more depth and strategy. Which, by the way, something I keep forgetting to mention. Like, you think, oh, that's easy, Zero. Just watch yourself out. True, I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty. I'm playing on the medium difficulty. But, you know, sometimes while commentating, you're not paying attention as much as you probably should be. And that kind of sometimes ends up biting you in the butt. So, I don't know. I want to do it. It sounds like fun. But, again, could easily mess that up. And knowing me, it, would, it wouldn't be that hard to mess up, because it's just me. Hello, nice to meet you. Joshua, you just be slaying, aren't you? God, why do I love you so much, you damn bastard? Alright, get that good level up. I hate that. There's nothing more that I hate than just leveling up HP. Like, granted, yeah, HP is freaking fantastic, but if that's all I'm leveling up, Jesus Christ, I hate it. Come on, double, 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 double. Yeah, loot. You need speed now. You have a good amount of strength. Get some speed in your life. Get some speed in your life, love. Oh, that thief is coming after us. Oh, hell nah. Ah, uh, hell nah. I ain't tripping, cuz. Give me that lockpick. I will take it with a grain of salt. I could easily sell it, or I might just make Colm hold on to it. Alright, Nami. Give us your... Oh, that's it? Eh, whatever. Iron bow. Now, I know bow users do suck in this game, but I, that, that hasn't stopped me before. I will rock you. Wait, how far does this guy reach? We are going to be sending in Gilliam to be killing him. You double me, but you do zero damage. Time for you to get critted by my fists. By fists, I mean my spear. So, that's a thing. So, Paul, you know what? I might... No, I, I'm not going to restart the Let's Play. That'd be stupid. But it, like, I, it like came into my head like, <gasps> what if I restarted it, but on hard mode? I would love to do this game in hard mode, but you know what? This is not the time nor the place. All right, get the Iron Sword, and we'll get your buddy Ephraim, your brother, and you too. I guess y'all can chill. And, uh, I think that's it. I need to move. Hmm. I guess I can move loot down here. I do want to keep my boy three squares nearby. All right, we're golden. We're living on life like it's golden. Oh, you think you can damage the Gilliam with two damage? Gilliam's like, I eat you for breakfast. <laughs> Even though that is not my voice, I tell you what I will use. When you try to be too too puny. Oh, what was that dude from Fairly Odd Parents? Uh, the Von Strang or whatever? Duh, too puny. Ah. All right, so this is. I, I think I've talked about dark magic. How inaccurate it is. If I haven't, these things are. What are they called? I know what their promoted thing is called, but I don't know what these guys are called. Oh, a longbow. Basically, a longbow lets you shoot three squares away, which, granted, is very, very, very good. Let's see. He's an archer. Shaman. I thought that shaman is what they were after. I could have sworn that's what it was after. Meh. Alright, we're just going to keep on trucking then. Oof, that'd be a nice instant kill. Oh, and he crits. All the support between you and Nemi is too damn strong. See, sometimes I got to keep calm just because of the damn supports. It's so good. So good. Oh, I'm getting crappy level ups this time. Bad RNG, man. Yeah, man, let's talk about the RNG, bro. Alright, you're doing 11 damage to my resistance of 6. Ah, I can take that. Wait, 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 where do you hit? Oh, I'm perfectly safe there. With Colm by my side. Ain't nothing happening to Colm. Stay nearby, boo boo. Taking my sweet time. Alright, maybe I need to start playing more aggressive. Yeah, we're gonna start playing more aggressive. Let's go! Oh! You wanna stab, you stab? So I don't know. I feel like I should. I should do the Iron Man challenge at least. But obviously if it comes down to Erica or, you know, uh, yeah, I think it's only with Erica. You kind of are forced to restart the chapter because, well, that's kind of all there is to it. It's just Erica. Now I'm not using Ephraim, but, hmm, I don't know if I should do it. I think I might. All right, there's some things I got to do with Ephraim. Actually, no, I can do it right now, right? Supply, give. The javelin, the silver sword, the elixir, this, and I feel, 
feel like he's like the only one who can harry this. And uh, oh my gosh, you know what? It's funny because now, normally, what's the thing I complained about? I actually remembered, and I put the phone away. But you know what? I did just still open my window. And what does the window mean? It means you can probably hear my dog barking. Does Zero have a dog? Yes, I have a freaking dog. Oh, I'll be right back. One way or another, there's always going to be distractions. That's that's kind of what I've learned. All right, Gilliam. Oh, I'm scared of this guy though. What to do, what to do. Alright, that's what we'll do. That is what we'll do. Okay, that... Uh, things could have been fixed. Uh, mistakes were made. <laughs> uh, God, I, did I not attack with that side? See, this is what happens when I get distracted. Alright. So, Erica, well, you know what, you'll just... Damn, even with the steel sword, that's not enough. God damn it, woman. Why do you suck? Oh, but she created. I apologize for my sentence that I just said, and I hope you will forgive me. Hmm. Alright. Let us. Let's see. I think I should put Josh. I don't know if this guy moves. I don't think he does. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Should I put Joshua? Yeah. What the hell? All right. We'll send you here. You here. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Mistakes are made again. This is what happens. I'm sorry. I'm all frazzled out right now. So let's get unfrazzled. How about that? That that sounds like a good plan to me. Oh, that that looks like a beautiful plan right there. Look at this. Oh, what? You don't like me? You don't have to like me. Because I've got the bow of armor. The bow, the bow of armor. That makes total sense. Eh? Good job. 10 out of 10. We'll recommend. Oh, I'm gonna bust his balls. I'm gonna bust his. Wait, what's my defense? What's my defense? He's doing 15, and my defense is 3. That's. I can live that the hell. Because I am going in for the kill. I'm doing it for the drill. Oh, see what I mean, Luke? You just have so much strength. You have so much to offer for your... Oh, oh, damn. That's the crit. That's the crit. You, you didn't need that, but you know what? I'll give it to you, lady, little lady. Come on. Speed, 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 speed. Yes! Speed of 10. And my fire tone broke. See, I feel like each time I start up this game again, or like I start playing it again for the Let's Play, I feel like I haven't mentioned something. Yeah, items do have a, a use. 16 out of 45, they break. And then you just buy new stuff. So it's not so bad. So it's not as bad as it seems. Dun, 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 oh, he did move. Well, regardless, I don't think he would have killed Erica, but you know what? Better to be safe than be without an Erica. That's Zeg 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, you don't care for that guy, do you? She's like, hell no, I don't. Bam! You know, a lot of people are probably like angry that I'm not using Artur. Because Artur tends to be a fan favorite. Because he's, honestly, I'm not, I, I feel like I gave him too much flack. He's actually really good, but... Alright, level up. Come on, attack. Yes! Oh, yes, Erica. You'll be getting a strength, you young lass. Alright, before we go over there. Oh, Nemi. Oh, Kong. Let's start smacking this wall. And uh, on this side, we will have Sir Joshua smack it. Smackity smack. And do we have anybody else? Oh, no, wait, you know what we could do, though? We could do this. We Check this out. I will rescue Joshua. Uh, uh, and then go over here and be like, okay, wait. And then I could be like, all right, okay, that might not work. Okay, this will work. Send him over there. Use the Wrangleaf, because F, F life. And then you go over here, take and drop. Booyah. Everybody wins. Everybody happy. Especially that bow guy. This guy, he's he going to die. He poopy hood. I'm going to wait to kill this guy off, because I want to get those treasure chests. It must be mine. Wait, what? Oh, because of the long bow. <gasps> Six damage. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, this is what I meant by uh, playing the dangerous game. Oh, well. You live and let learn. 
I really will be sad if Nemi dies. Like, no, Nemi can do this. Nemi. Nemi, how close are you to leveling up? Oh, you're right on the edge. What about you? No, you just leveled up. Oh, you're good. All right, let's do it. Let's come on, Nemi. Give us a good level up. Show us how it's done in the big leagues. You know, the crit works too. I, I'm never going to complain about a crit. Which a crit, by the way, if I again haven't explained, does uh, triple the damage. So she would have done, what's 12 times 3? 36. So yeah. All right, we're going to send Calm. Oh, we get victory music. Because we're closing in on the victory. Which, it's going to be loot. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be loot. Because this guy has massive defense. Look, like, look at this. Yeah, his defense is 14. His resistance is 8. I mean, granted, it's still good, but his luck is terrible. Terrible. But I think I'm gonna let them build support. Like, I. Th oh my god, there's like a million things running through my head. Alright, so I want these two built to build support, but from what I've heard, I think these two have a little bit of a tougher time getting along. But you know what? That's okay. Let's see, what do we got in here? We got Silver Sword. I think that goes straight to the convoy, right? Sent yeah, okay, that goes straight there. I really don't think I'm going to need a heal, so I'm just going to pick this up, and I'm going to leave everybody where they're at, and we will be good to go. What's in here? An Elysian Whip! Ah, and I sent my Iron Sword. <laughs> the Elysian Whip is a thing to help promote, I do believe, Pegasus Knights? Yeah. And Wyvern Riders. Um, let's see, once... Yeah, she'll still... Oh, if I'm here, I'll still get the support gains. I only do five damage twice. Are you serious? Oh my lord. We might need reinforcements. See, I don't know how much he does with the javelin, though. One way to find out. Put wait. Put Gilliam here. Does Gilliam have it? No, he doesn't have a javelin. But you know what? It's okay because he will be eating up all the hits for breakfast. It's like a bowl of Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. My men were unable to finish the job, were they? It falls on me to show you my own special brand of power. Yoink. Damn, that still did six damage. Okay. Okay. But now we can at least see how much damage he's going to be outputting with that javelin. 19. Better than the Silver Lance. That thing is way too powerful. So he's going to be doing 14. No, 19 damage to my defense of three. That's 16. He could two shot me, but he ain't going to outspeed me. <laughs> you don't know, buddy. You don't know about speed. You don't know my schedule. All right, I'm going to put you here. And I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay, guys. Everybody, remain calm. He, he might miss. He did. <laughs> Boom. We're going to whittle you away, motherfucker. Boom. This is actually a really good way to gain EXP. We can just, you know, grind on him for a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's more effective ways to do this. But as of right now, I do not care. So, we're going to keep just, just, we're going to be douches about it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Maybe we do need more strength than I thought we did. Eh? Come on, crit him, loot. Crit him. You'd get 15 damage off. Oh, this is going to take forever if this is the rate we're hitting at. But I want loot to get an easy level up. That'd be actually pretty nice. Wait, I should probably keep Franz and you. I'm just building up supports. Nope, I'm not going to attack. Because if I attack, then he'll, he'll have a second chance to hit me. Because I would have ended my turn and he would have attacked again. Yep, loot's like, come on! Boom! I think he's gaining like three or four health, so we're literally like chipping this guy to nothingness. I just want loot to get a level up, and then I'll let somebody else finish it off. I don't know who. I feel like Eric. Oh, well, duh. Erica probably would have been like the perfect subject for this. So we'll just move Joshua. I'm, I'm taking way too much time on this. I just need to finish this guy. Uh, I don't want him to hit me, though. I'm scared. I'm, I want to do Iron Man challenge. I am Iron Man. Da, da. Oh god. And boom. Come on, crit. Loot, just get a crit. Though I will have to say that the music is pretty goddamn awesome. Alright, one more turn. One more turn and then we'll just finish off with somebody else. Alright, we'll bring in Erica because she does. Oh, support conversations! Well, friends, it looks like there's a lot I can learn from an eye. Why the change of heart, Sir Gilliam? I've been doing your exercises every night, and I feel fantastic. I'm glad you like it. I appreciate her and I much more, so thank you. Really? I'm glad. I'm thrilled that the great Sir Gilliam approves of the training in Renai. Thrilled? You're overreacting. 
No, honestly, I am thrilled. It's a small thing, I know, but when someone recognizes the fine qualities of Renai, I get a thrill. Renai is a small country, but it contains that much that is good. I don't know Renai, but I do know how you feel as a fellow knight. The more we are away, the more we think back of our beloved homeland. I'm glad that I'm not alone in this. Chin up, lad. Be proud of your country. Franz, knight of Renai. As your friend from neighboring Freilia, I'm glad to be proud of your home. Yes, Sir Gilliam. Thank you very much. Are they at A? Are they at A support? They are at A support. Yeah, supporting, supporting. Friendship. We're going in for the kill. Screw it! Um. What was that? Oh! Oh! Did you witness that? Oh my god! I... Okay, so that what you saw is what generals can do. I don't think you can see it anywhere else. But some classes have special skills. You can't see them though. And of these skills, the general can has an ability sometimes to trigger basically a no damage thing like where he won't take any damage and that's what just happened that was kind of cool i mean i've never seen a boss actually that happened to a boss but all right that's pretty cool all right we got the level up oh and now loot you decide now fucking loot you you little stingy you you little stingy little brat i'm going to kill you so she wanted the, the other level up too didn't you oh and you mm, loot okay loot I see what you're playing. I see your game you're playing. All right, we're gonna move, and we're gonna seize the throne. Brother. I worried you, didn't I, Erica? As as well, you, as, as you as well, General? Not at all, we're happy you're safe. <sighs> but to tell me, Prince, do you know of Orson's treachery against you and Oliver Nye? Yes, though I've learned of it too late after we've been trapped at Renbull. I still find it difficult to believe that after all his years of service to Renai, I am morally responsible for his plight. Ephraim. Ephraim! What is it, Mur? Something's coming. It's drawing near. Dark, big, and great in number. I understand. It looks like we should get out of here. Um, brother, this girl, her hair is indigo. Where did... <sighs> That's a long story. For now, we must move. Suffice to say, Emperor Vigard has enlisted some otherworldly powers. We must warn everyone of the danger. It's a trap. A new journey unfolds. Because we're about to be given a choice. Of sorts. What is it, Erica? I was thinking about Lion. The last time we saw him was a year and a half ago. You're right. He was at Grotto Keep. Has it really been only a year and a half? Oh, memory lane. Ephraim! Lion! Where are you two? We're over here, Erica. You better be quick. Ephraim says he's tired of waiting. Oh, please, I'm sure you could wait a few moments longer. If you're late, how does it take you so long to prepare for such a simple trip? Rest easy, Ephraim. There's no need to be so curt with your own sister. After all, the king must learn to treat women with honor and discretion. That's what Father McGregor says. Thank you, Lion. You and like my dear brother are a true gentleman. I was up... I was up far too late thinking about my prayer to the temple flame last night, and I'm afraid I overslept. Your prayer? What are you babbling about? Come now, you know that flame has been burning since the time of darkness ended. You must know the story of the flame will answer the prayers of any pilgrim. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, Ephraim, Father McGregor is going to scold you for neglecting your study so. Don't even joke about that. So tell us, what have you decided to pray for, Erica? I, uh, well, it's a secret. I should have known. You're so boring. Well, how about you, Ephraim? Me? Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll pray to become a stronger fighter. That's just like you, Ephraim. Just like you indeed, brother. I can never tell if you're complimenting me or mocking me. Praising you, of course. Right, Erica? Hehe, <laughs> that's right. And you, Lion, what will you pray for? What? Me? <laughs> well, I suppose all I really want is for all people to be happy. That's, uh, very much like you. Very much so, Lion. Now I'm the one who cannot tell if he's being praised or... You're being praised as... Yo, you're being praised as always, Lion. Tell me, why the sudden decision to visit the temple? Did my brother do something again? Now listen, you. Oh no, it's not what Ephraim's done. It's what he hasn't done. He's learned nothing at all about the sacred stones and the temple flames, so... 
Father McGregor became angry. He said, One destined to become king and rule over a nation must know the history of his kingdom and must respect the sacred stones. Ever since I came to Grotto, my life has been to chastement and the castigation. Father McGregor does not think me to be altogether too kingly. And yet General Azusel has nothing but praise for you, Ephraim. He says you're brave and true, that you've made you the makings of a great king. A great king? I honestly have no idea what he means. Erica should succeed the throne. I would be happy simply taking my lance and traveling the land as a mercenary. Ephraim, that is nothing but foolish and irresponsible romanticism. Do you realize how much your words fill father's heart with grief? Are we speaking of the same man? Our father will likely outlive us all. For now, I'm content just learning the, the lance from General Dussel. What about you, Lion? Is there anything you want to do? Me? Well, I suppose I want to become like my father. You were born to be the Emperor of Grotto, Lion. It suits you. Interruptions will happen for the rest of my life. No, I don't think so. I'm not. One thing I know f from watching my father is that being emperor is hard. Every day, he answers the complaints of the people, and he almost never sleeps. My father is always so very tired. I hope one day that I hope that I can help him. Lan, you are so honorable. You should learn from him, brother. Again with your criticism! Tell me, Erica, what say you to dressing like, to dressing like me and becoming king in my steed? You're so skinny, I doubt anyone would notice you're not really a man. <laughs> Ephraim! Aww, they're so cute. Aww. What do you suppose Lion is doing now? When Emperor Vigard ordered an invasion, how do you think Lion left? He's always been so gentle, but he worships his father. He'd never question him. But the Emperor, he's clearly not behaving rationally. I just hope he's not so far gone that he's hurt his own flesh and blood. I just pray for the day when the three of us can be together once again. It'll come, I've no doubt. Mm. We miss our friend Lion. See, all these places used to just be friends, and now they're not. Erica, Ephraim, welcome! The two of you are returning together. It's like a dream come true. You must know, I've prayed every day for your safe return. I'm so happy to see you, Tana. I'm sorry, Tana. I didn't want you to worry. Oh, it doesn't matter now. All that really matters is that we've been brought together again. My own brother will soon return from the field. It will be nice to sit down and discuss things again. Prince Donna, Prince Ines has returned from the front. Welcome home, dear brother. I'm so happy to see you return safe and sound. You didn't expect less, did you? Do you think grotto slugs could touch me? <laughs> With my bow, I'll take down every grotto soldier from here to the Emperor's palace. Well, met Ines. Ephraim. It's good to see you, Prince Ines. They say Renais has fallen. I believe I've warned you before. This happened because you provided Grotto the opportunity to strike. Brother, mind your tongue. This is no occasion for such harsh words. Ephraim and Erica have lost their father to this terrible war. I'm sorry to hear of your father's death. Hear me, Ephraim. Our most important task is to defeat Grotto and end this war. Oh, Ines. I'm sorry, Erica, Ephraim. It's alright. It's, com it's comforting to see that in all of this. At least he hasn't changed. Ines has hated me for as long as I can remember. My brother looks upon you as a rival, Ephraim. And as you know, he wants to be the best at everything. Dun, 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 to catch them, the best general. The best fighter is true. Ephraim Ben, he won't allow to. Okay, beat anything. Tana. Tana, you talk too much. My father would like both of you to sit with him in a war council. Will you come to me and take part of your official audience? Yes, of course. There's much that I have to tell him. It will be our honor to attend. This way. It does my heart good to see that see you all safely within our castle walls. Would that we had more time for pleasantries, but let us hear your news. Very well, I will begin. I've just directed the body of Freyla's army south to engage Grotto directly. Our troops are providing themselves superior and the battle progressively favorably. Hmm. But the riddle still needs answering. Why did Grotto begin this war in the first place? Your Majesty, we may well have found something relating to that. We learned something on our travels, news that weighs heavily upon us. Ah yes, our messenger delivered your report to us a few days ago. Grotto is trying to destroy the sacred stones, is that it? Yes. We've strengthened the tower's defenses. Freyla's stone is safe for the time being. But we remain confused in this. What does Grotto hope to gain by destroying the sacred stones? We don't know. The legends say the stones protect us from the power of darkness. I can't say if it relates, but I have a story about Grotto. It's been troubling me, and I would like to share it with you all. Mir, come here, please. Yes? Who's this girl? On her back. Wings. Ephraim, who is she? This is Mur. I met her while fighting in Grotto territory. Mur, would you please tell everyone here the story you told me? Please, Ephraim, you tell them. 
<laughs> she's a bit shy. Very well. Mira tells me that she belongs to an ancient race of dragon folk. They're mentioned in a few legends. They're called the tribe of Manakeet. Manakeet? Yes, their name appears several times in the tale of the sacred stones. It says that they are neither human nor demon, but separate, aloof race. Please, Mira. We live in the east, in Darkling Woods. One day... Yes? We felt something. An ominous energy to the south. From the direction of Grotto. They felt a force flowing out of the Grotto Empire. Sally and I... Sally? 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 We went to investigate this energy. But on our way, we came across battle and were drawn into the conflict. Mira got lost and was wandering aimlessly in an isolated region near Grotto's border. I met some wicked folk there. They deceived me and enchained me. They stole my dragon stone. They were preparing me for transport. It was in that moment that Ephraim appeared and rescued me. Aw, poor little girl. I stumbled across Myrrh by chance when Grotto's men had ambushed us. Everything she told me seemed beyond belief. And yet... And yet when I saw her wings, what could I do but believe? This dark wave of energy still flows from the Southlands. Its current is strong and runs deep. It has awakened the evil ones. I want to stop it. Hmm. Your Majesty, I bring word. What is so urgent you would interrupt private counsel? The tower holding the sacred stones of Freyla. Fre Frelia. It's been destroyed by the Grotto army. What? That's impossible. What of the soldiers on watch? There's supposed to be many. The enemy forces. They were led by Kaliak, the Tiger Eye, and Selina Fluspar. Fluorspar. Our soldiers fell before even half a day passed. Selina Fluorspar. Only General Zeuser is higher in Emperor Vigard's esteem. She's the one. She came personally. So they really do wish to see the Sacred Stones destroyed. Blast! Tower of Valny. Oh, frick. This is basically what happened. Here's Kaliak. And some soldiers. Oh, God. Oh, he got created. That's like the worst way to die. Oh, my lord. Oh. Well, at least they're fighting back. Oh. Oh. Ha! Ah, so this hunk of rock is a sacred stone, eh? So much fuss over something as fragile as this. Watch it crumble so easily. Do we gain anything by this? Not that I care, but... Black-hearted fool, what have you done? Without the stone's protection, the horrors will spread. Ha, <laughs> what's this? Still breathing, are you? Come, if it's any last words, I'll hear them. Fool of Fralia, you monster. You waste in your last words on insults and feeble ones at that. Hardly the right note to enter the eternal on, wouldn't you say? Well, then die! Hold. What are you doing, Kaliak? Our job was to destroy the sacred stone. I know that, and I crushed it, did I not? But if we don't clean up these Frelian curs, they might. You do not raise your blade to anyone who is powerless to resist you. The Emperor does not desire to, us to kill without cause. That would be murder. Right. The Emperor. <sighs> so your name's Selina, ain't it? Tell me, Selina. What makes that pasty face old fool's words so important? Wretch, do you dare insult his imperial majesty? Hey, hey, I'm joking. Don't get so worked up. I get it now. You're a true and loyal soldier. I'm leaving before Freya sends him reinforcements. Coming? How could this happen? How could I have allowed our sacred stones to be destroyed? Dark energies from the Empire's capital. Evil monstrosities roaming our lands. Vigard's man invasion. And now this. The destruction of our sacred talisman. And we have no idea of Grotto's goals. We are in dark times once again. But even so, we cannot sit here wringing our hands. First, we must warn the nations that house the remaining sacred stones. If the guard seeks to destroy the stones, they are all in grave danger. Jahanna and Rostin must be warned. The nations must join together to fight our common foe. Do you think they will believe us? Mm. It is a difficult tale to believe, I must agree. I will go, Father. Ines? A direct visit from friends of Frelia is nothing they can ignore. I will travel to Jehanna, where I will for forge an alliance with her queen. If our sacred stones has been destroyed, then Frelia could be in great danger. Father, I cannot let you leave the nation in such a time of crisis. It is imperative that I be the one to go. Hmm. And I will head for Rouston. Erica? You know I can't let you put yourself in such danger. Rest easy, dear brother. I will journey to Rouston by ship across the North Sea. There will be no danger. 
and I have made a vow. I will fight as you have until the day Renai is liberated. I understand. King Hayden, I will take troops and march on the Imperial capital from the west. The west, are you saying you will begin an assault on Grotto from here? If we can take Grotto Keep, the war will be over. The sacred stones will be safe. If we start here and press forward with all our might, and once you reach the capital, the guards' generals will be there waiting for you. If they oppose us, we will fight. You've got your father's foolhardy courage, don't you? Very well. I entrust you all our hope with to you three. Ines, you will go to Jahana, Erica to Rouston, and Ephraim to the Imperial capital. Funding you will have, but of soldiers, we have few to spare. For each of you, a difficult road awaits. If any of us meets with defeat, the battle will turn to Grotto's favor. There must be no errors. We must not fail. Where I command, there are no mistakes. I have no doubts I'll succeed. I swear it. Come, it is time to go. We get 10,000 gold. Oh my gosh. That was a lot, a lot to swallow. And if you think that's a lot to swallow, we're still not done. Farewell, brother. I will return. Mm. To be honest, I still do not want you to go. I would rather just you wait here for my return. Please, Ephraim. I will be fine. There's no need for you to worry. Mine is the easiest task, and I'll be in no danger. I'm far more worried about your mission. Challenging the might of an empire with a handful of men? <laughs> What's this now? Have you lost your faith in me? No, of course not. I know your true strength, Ephraim. No one can defeat you. <laughs> Hearing you say that fills me with confidence. I think I know my own limitations. I won't overextend my reach. I can't die and leave you on your own, can I? Ephraim. Let us both survive to be reunited. Give me your word, Erica. You have it, brother. Erica and Ephraim will now part ways. Which of them will you accompany? And this is where things get a little tricky. In the game, Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, you have a choice. You can take the Ephraim to Grotto route, or go with Erica to Roustin route. Now, you can only choose one, so you'd have to play through the game again to see the other one. Now, for those of you who are first playing Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, if you're playing along, or if you just, you know, happen to find this video randomly, you're just like, what do I choose? Which route do I take? Ephraim is considered the harder difficulty route, because you only have Ephraim, Ford, and Kyle. Erica is the, I don't want to say the easy, but it's the easier of the two options. Either way, you... The story, the maps are different, and the story is a little different. It's told from two different perspectives. The characters you recruit in said chapters, like you meet, like the characters you meet in Erica's route, you'll meet in Ephraim's route, but in a different order and a different way. But for this let's play, I'm gonna go with. You'll find out in the next episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem: The Sacred Stones. Peace out, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Out. Oh.